Hey guys, I'm Derek. I'm Kyler. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I know I did. You have a good one? I did. Cool. We were just thinking, some of you may have gotten a guitar for Christmas, and we think that's awesome. I hope you got it from Intune Music, even if you didn't. We got a couple of ideas for you. There's a couple of things that uh, you're like, great, I got a guitar now, why? You know, because it's not one of those things, maybe you were, but I didn't get a guitar and go, I already know how to play this. It didn't happen that way for me. So the first thing I would like to, to talk to you about is getting lessons. Uh, we have lessons in each of our stores. If you call your local store uh, and tell them, hey, I'm interested in guitar lessons. I know in Odessa, we've got Mike Camden and a guy named Rambo, Rambo Miller, both great guys, great at guitar lessons. Uh, in Midland store, is that Kyle? Kyle, Kyle Kalanick does uh, guitar and keyboard. So. Uh, Abilene, I think Elisha's doing it, and there's a gentleman named Kevin in our Alito store. All capable, all great guys. Uh, we vetted them. Lessons are easy at Intune Music. We ask you to pay uh, for the month in advance. It's the way we try to do it. Uh, $30 per lesson, so it's about 120 plus tax for a month's worth of lessons. Yeah, $129.90 altogether. <coughs> awesome. So, lessons. I think that's a perfect thing. But Kyler's got a few other things he's going to tell us about, too. I just got a guitar, Kyler. What do I need? Well, anybody. Even if you're not the one actually playing guitar, you'll still appreciate this. This is the tuner. So this is always something that I think is handy to have. Acoustic or electric, right? Yeah, this one will fit on any guitar. I mean, it's Is universal. that one of those that it works with vibration? Yeah, so the cool thing about this, you don't have to, if you have a tuner on your phone, I know most musicians have that. They'll pick up anything around you. This right. just picks up that. Cool. Uh, I have a cable, so if you got an electric guitar, you know, sometimes. Or acoustic electric. Yeah. yeah, or acoustic electric. Uh, cable's always a good thing to have. That's so. a cool braided one, right? Yeah, yeah, this one's from Big Hog, so it's uh, going to last a long time and overall pretty good. I think I know cable. the answer to this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Are there different levels of cables? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, some cables are just built better than others. The one thing, too, you want to buy a cable that really that has ends like this. And the reason I say that is these are easily repairable if something ever happens to them. Cool. And it's nice to have a cable that you don't have to throw away. But even Pig Hog, don't they have like a, well, I guess that's, who, who makes the just the rubberized? I know Pig Hog makes them. And then these are braided, and then if you just want extra heavy duty, I think they do those too. So I'll be quiet, go ahead. Sure. The other thing I have are some in-ears here, uh, especially with a lot of modern bands, churches, or just bands that play out, in-ears have become a real staple for most people. Okay. So I have a pair of Fender in-ears. These are some pretty awesome ones. Uh, so if you wanted to get some in-ears with some Christmas money that you got, or if you've been looking at some for a while, these are some great ones to get. Straps? So we have kind of a variety of straps. Uh, it's really just preference what you have. I mean, we have some that range from $12.99 all the way up to $99. So Yeah, we talked about some of those fancy ones and stuff. Yeah, so if you look at our previous video, we talked about a company that we started carrying called Eldorado Straps. Cool. Those are kind of on the high end which if you're looking for something that's a really nice strap, those are great. So over the Christmas break, or over the Christmas holiday season, Kyler was kind enough to let me uh, sit in with his group, Capital Limits, they're awesome. If you haven't checked them out, you should. Um, and on his amp, he had some weird contraption. I'm getting ahead of you. But I just thought this was cool. Tell us about that. So yeah, uh, most of you guitar players, if you play out at all, you've had to mic your amp before. A lot of times if you have a stand, uh, sometimes it can get in the way. Sometimes with the vibrations on stage, it could cause the stand to even move some too. So one thing that's cool about this, you get a regular Audix i5 instrument microphone, which sounds great as well, but for no additional charge, you get what's called a cab grabber. Now the cool thing about this, and we'll uh, post a short, uh, not video, but we'll post like a picture of what it'll look like on your amp. And the cool thing about it is you can attach it straight to your amp so you don't have to have an extra stand. So it mounts to your amplifier, to your cabinet? Yeah, it basically is kind of spring-loaded so it can adjust to pretty much any amplifier cabinet. Cool. And it's just a pretty handy way to, to mic your amp if you're just carrying uh, as least as you can to a gig, which is what most people are trying to move towards. Sure. And so is this just in the holiday? You think they'll do this all the time? They don't do that all the time. This is just a holiday thing. Have a this couple is, of these? This is our last one, so that's why we're letting you know. All right. Uh, next thing I have, probably quite a few of you got recording interfaces for Christmas. It's one of the most popular things that is sold around the holiday season. And okay. it's just becoming a lot more accessible for people to record nowadays. So right here I'm showing an uh, Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. 
Is that the USB or is this the... This is just the regular one. So here's the thing, if you already have an interface, you don't need a, the USB microphone. You don't need all that okay. functionality. So this is just a regular XLR connection. So it plugs into the interface, interface Correct. connects to the computer. Exactly. So if you got an interface and maybe you want another microphone, if you already have one or if you need a microphone, this is a pretty versatile microphone because you can use it for vocals. Uh, if you're a rapper, you can use it uh, for rapping as well. You can also use it for instruments as well. Awesome. I mean, you could record an acoustic guitar with it. So versatile. It's a real versatile microphone. You can even use it live if you really wanted to. Like that? Uh, so this is just a great handy thing to have. The cool thing about this, most studio microphones are going to be fairly expensive. Well, this one's only 99 Awesome. Anything else? I think that's it. I've, there's a lot more that we have in the store if you want to come check it out. We just picked a few of these select things just to right. kind of give you an idea of what we have. As always, our friend Rick is going to put our phone numbers right down here. If we didn't answer your question, you just got a guitar, you just got an interface, you got anything new, you don't know how it works, call one of our stores. Uh, we got people in all of them that are glad to help you. Again, hope you had a blessed holidays. We look forward to 2019 with you in Tune Music and Sound.